Welcome Scorpio to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Crosswatcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all the angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that Scorpio is dealing with in love? Who is the person that Scorpio is dealing with in love? And what is Scorpio's energy towards this person? And Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the uh, collective energies towards each other? How this one wants to come out. Wow, it's a spiritual partnership. <laughs> Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current energies of the person that Scorpio is dealing with and towards each other? Thank you. So what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is that whoever you're dealing with, they have a hard time of following their dreams. I have a feeling that they have lost their sense of adventure in regards to what is uh, what is it that they love? Okay, I feel like they're really blocking uh, their manifestations. Okay, it's possibly because uh, they're thinking very negatively about uh, the current circumstances that is going on in their life. This could be job related and uh, the the willingness to change. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Also, we have self love. So this is actually really beautiful. Your person has learned to love themselves first possibly communicate how they're feeling also about being stable and grounded i feel that this is a past person that you're dealing with and maybe this person is reviewing the past with you and they really want to have a new beginning i have a feeling that your person is spiritually ascended however there's a blockage here of not being able to follow their dreams so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see what that is so they're putting effort. So this is very positive, okay? <laughs> like finally, there's a positive message in this uh, collective water signs I did for today, right? So whoever you're connecting with Scorpio, your person is aware that it takes effort, it takes courage, it takes the initiative to uh, work on something, you know, that creative drive, that spark, the creativity, Okay, also the passion from what I can see, you know, and I feel that because your person loves themselves, they're slowly putting the effort to change. So if they're putting their dreams aside uh, by working on themselves, that is actually a good thing. Okay, now with you, look, we have creativity, but it's in reverse. You are lacking the creativity, possibly in working with other people. Uh, this could be in the workplace. This could be uh, like not even interested in working on third party situations. Okay, take your pick. There's a lot of energy here with the color yellow. Okay, so I have a feeling that your solar plexus is blocked. Maybe um, you've been lazy uh, as of late, right? Maybe you're not moving around too much. Now, I just did a reading for cancer and I saw that cancer needed to move around. Okay, I feel like it's very similar for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, if you've been uh, like kind of like sitting one place, not doing much of anything, now is the time to move around, put some music on, and uh, to really uh, 
you know, move your your、uh, chakras so that you can、uh, receive that creativity. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Now I feel that mostly this creativity is possibly in your working environment. Okay, but you lack、uh, the motivation to do things. That's what I'm picking up on. And here we have a new beginning. So towards your person, you want to have a new beginning, but you don't know how. That's what I'm sensing. Okay.、Uh, let's see, because I have a feeling that your person is gonna put some effort into it. So, Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of the person that Scorpio is connected to in love? And Scorpio, what is your energy, and what are your energies towards each other? Thank you, Spirit. Oh well. So there's a situation where your person could be married. Okay, they could be getting a divorce. So I have a feeling that the reason why that they can't follow their dreams is because they're getting a divorce or they're married trying to get a divorce. Okay, take your pick. I have a feeling that your person is not happy in whatever commitments or relationships that they're in. Okay, the situation involves a marriage. They're trying to get out of a marriage. Okay, that's why they can't follow their dreams. And I feel that right now, when it comes to you, okay, they are learning to love themselves. Okay, whatever relationship that they're in, they were not loving themselves. Do you see that your person was not loving on themselves? They I don't know what they look like. They look unhappy. Okay, and and the reason is because you know. They couldn't pursue what、uh, their hopes, their wishes, their dreams. I have a feeling, okay, Scorpio, when your person was with you, you gave them that creativity, you gave them that inspired action to really pursue their dreams. I have a feeling that you possibly ask your person, "Hey, babe, what is your dream? What is it that you always wanted to do?" And I have a feeling that your person told you that they wanted to be X, Y, and Z, but the reason why they couldn't do it was because of a marriage. Okay, a marriage, a commitment、um, that they were in. Okay, and I also see here. Wow, look, we have here healing family issues. Your person,、um, they're going through it right now. Okay. I have a feeling that、uh, whatever collective、uh, that I'm channeling for today, okay, your person was in a commitment or is in a commitment, and they're wanting to get out, and they still have to heal their family issues. Okay, and they're doing it by loving themselves. This is a really beautiful energy. I really like it. Okay, let's see. And that's why、uh, they can't reconcile with you at this time. So I have a feeling that you and this particular person are in separation. Okay,、uh, it's a little difficult for them to come together with you. That's why I feel like Scorpio, you lack the the creativity to come towards、uh, this person. Possibly because I have a feeling that they're trying to get out of a marriage, okay? That they're not happy in, but because they need to heal themselves, that is the holdup, okay? I feel that your person wants to reconcile, okay?、Uh, yeah, look at this. They want to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, but right now,、um, they don't know if they can, okay? I feel like there's some things that they need to resolve before they can actually open up towards you. But honestly, this person is thinking of you. I definitely do pick up on that. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see what else. You're feeling negative for today. <laughs> so I see here, keep an open mind, but it's reversed. So I have a feeling that. Your creativity is blocked. You're trying to keep an open mind, but it's really hard because I see that you're、uh, being very pessimistic about this connection. You want to have a new beginning, okay? That I do see. Look, you're learning to trust. This situation is going to have faith. I have a feeling that this is for a twin flame collective. 
You're trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition, your inner guidance, your knowing that you will have a new beginning with the person that you uh, are thinking of. Okay. Your person is working on uh, healing themselves, loving themselves. Right now, they're going through some karma. Okay. First, they're going to heal their family issues. Then they're going to get a divorce. Okay. Or get out of a situation. At that point, once uh, they've cleared up uh, some of these energies, then I feel like you guys have a realistic chance for a true reconciliation. I have a feeling also that your person wants to spend holiday time with you, but they just can't. Okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. Let's see. Barry, can you please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of the person that is connected to you in love? What is their general current overall energies? Please, Spirit. And Spirit, how are they currently thinking of you? How do they feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? Thank you. What is the energy of this person that is connected to you in love? Ooh, we have here Knight of Wands. So your person's very passionate towards you, and I feel that they want to come towards you. Okay, they're feeling this. They really desire to be with you. Okay, for some, maybe they came in and out of your life, but I feel that your person is feeling energetically that they want to be with you. Okay, however, I feel like they don't know how. Very similar to your energy. Okay, so Scorpio, you don't know how. You can keep an open mind about connecting with this person, especially if your person is already in another commitment. Okay, but something is telling you, this is like a, a niggling feeling deep down inside that you just have to trust the process, right? It may not be under your timing, but this is under what? Divine timing. That is what I'm feeling. I have a feeling that your person is needing a little bit of time to really reflect on uh, the situation. They need to see things uh, differently. And this is in regards to maybe uh, making some kind of an offer. This could be a text message. Okay, any kind of message. I feel like they're trying to balance themselves out first. They're not very sure. Okay, it's almost as if this person is a little reluctant to uh, send some kind of a message. I feel like they're thinking of it, okay, but they're still kind of stuck in their head about the consequences of any kind of uh, conversations that may come through because they walked away, okay? So the other thing I'm also feeling is that they're in their head about walking away from the situation and dealing with a marriage or a commitment, okay? and they're making moves okay this is the emperor this is the divine masculine energy i see that your person is trying to make the next step in the process of clearing out this karmic debt also how could this person make a move towards you so instead of playing it small like the page of pentacles this person is now the emperor Okay, they are in control over the situation and they're making their next steps or their next move and uh, strategically planning on how they can make this all work out. They're feeling stuck. Now, in the very beginning, I saw it right off the bat that this uh, relationship or situation between you and this person, okay, I don't see reconciliation soon, but it doesn't mean that it will never happen because you have to trust, okay? This is your innate, uh, you know, feelings, your intuitive hits that even though things aren't playing out in the 3D, you know deep down inside that there is a new beginning around the corner. Now, your person is currently feeling stuck in whatever situation that they're in, and it just seems that if they were to come towards you uh, being very lighthearted in nature, I feel it, it may backfire, 
okay? Because they were naive of the past, not really thinking about the consequences of what it will happen in the future. But I have a feeling that your person keeps thinking of the things that you guys used to do. And that's why uh, they have a hard time of moving things forward. Because there's a lot to consider. The other thing I'm also feeling that a lot of time has passed. Now, for some, it's only been eight days. For some, it's been eight weeks. For others, eight months. Okay. But this is recent. I feel like recently your person uh, has been thinking of you a lot lately. And they realize that even though that they're very uh, passionate towards you, they know they can't come to you right now. You know, the overall energy here is this Knight of Wands. Okay, you have lit their fire, their flame. And if you can see in this particular uh, graphic, there's like four wands there. Okay, but this is the King of Wands. So I feel like this is your twin flame. And I feel like they're ready to take action. Now, there is a black stallion there in the background. I feel like that's feminine energy, even though that there's a female here in the forefront. Now, for some, you're in a same-sex relationship. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. And for others, okay, I have a feeling that um, your person is really trying to balance out their masculine feminine energy so they can come forward towards you. So... For the one that's watching this, Scorpio, okay, if you're lacking creativity, I would actually put on some drum beats and see what, what happens when that when you play that. Seriously. I have a, a specific video. Uh, I will actually put it in the description box below or down in the comment section and I'll pin it, I'll pin it uh, to this particular channeling. I want you to listen to that after obviously after you watch my reading okay and tell me how you feel after listening to that it's amazing you have to listen to it with an awesome stereo system okay or some badass uh head, head headphones or headsets okay so i feel that you're kind of stuck in your head okay or actually, this is your person. Your person is kind of stuck in their head about making a decision about the future. So they're no longer fighting the situation uh, about moving things forward. I have a feeling that they want to balance themselves out. They don't want to fight. They don't want to struggle. And I feel that they really want to uh, spend long term with you but they can't I feel like it's because they're already in a commitment or um, financially they're not stable right now um, this person is is acting as if they don't have time for you I have a feeling that you and your person are, are in no communication or you haven't been talking to them lately And it's because they're stuck in a codependent relationship or situation. And I feel that they want to get out of it. I feel that if you guys have been in separation, your person really wants to get out of the separation and con connect with you. They're depressed. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. And I also see that you, you know, your person is uh, trying to make a decision and they have actually decided, wow, to wait for the right time. They're looking forward towards the future. So they're looking for an opportune time. Okay, guys, so I'm getting a timing element here. It could be three days or three weeks. I feel like for some, it's going to be like maybe the first week of December. That's what I'm feeling. Before the middle of December, kind of like in, in that area, you, you uh, I feel like this person is just waiting for that time. To get out of a, a marriage or a divorce or a situation that isn't working. 
So <clears throat> this is where I'm feeling. I feel like your person's going to go through a moment. They're not going to have a very good time. Things aren't working out with their relationship or situation because whoever that they're married to is blocking their, their dreams, their flow. Okay. And I feel like uh, they could have gotten into an argument or a situation where things aren't really working with uh, that particular dynamic. They also have to heal their family issues. Okay. I feel like this is the family and the family is turned upside down. So your person is having a hard time in the first uh, week or so in December. Okay. Even right now, guys. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. And so at this point, when this person thinks of you, Scorpio, they're thinking about healing themselves because there's something about you that uh, this person really addresses their feelings. And also you ground them, you stabilize them. You're their rock. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And whoever that they're with, they never really had their best interest. Okay, but you did, Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else. So they're thinking they're kind of moody right now. Okay, uh, they're not in the mood. It's because they can't really offer you anything. And I have a feeling that they're overburdened and for some they're traveling, for others they're moving, okay? But I really feel like um, what they're, what they're uh, moving away from is, um, I feel like a relationship. I feel like your person has ended a relationship and that's for some this person actually ended it okay but th they didn't tell you yet it's because they need some time to really work on themselves i see here the three of swords in reverse they're healing from this third party situation they feel left out but they want to come back and reconcile with you this past person is coming back for you scorpio i definitely do see it i feel like they're coming towards you especially if they they um live kind of far now you guys could live in the same town maybe like you know uh, a couple cities over you know take your pick but you guys are not really close in proximity with one another is what i'm feeling Okay, that's not for everyone, but I'm definitely seeing that, so I'm calling it out. You know, and I have a feeling that, you know, they can't really offer you a relationship right now because they're not in the mindset for it because they need to heal themselves. This person is aware, okay, but I feel like they have gratitude for you because you are the catalyst for them to really recognize the change that they needed to uh, really uh, enable so they can become a better person. It was because of you. That's really beautiful. I like that. Let's see what's going on with your energy. That's why this person had the hearts for you. <laughs> You know, I really feel like this is your twin. Okay, they could have fire in their chart. Uh, Leo, uh, uh, Sag, or Aries. Okay, doesn't have to be, but I definitely see a uh, fire. This person is very passionate towards you, and I feel like they're coming, right? And they may come out of nowhere. You had no idea that this person was onto you or, or was even thinking of you, you know? Um, and it is a past person. But they're thinking that, you know, they can't even offer this to you because, um, you know, maybe they can't really offer your relationship because they don't have the financial backing because they just got out of the situation. For some, I say it's been like five years. <sighs> this person looked, you know, this person has a scarf here. Do you see a scarf? I feel like this person had the key all along, but you know, they they were just too depressed to even see uh, that they could actually open that door. That's how they're feeling. I see that they're coming back though. They want reconciliation. So let's take a look at you, Scorpio. Uh, what is your energy towards this particular person? How do you currently think? How do you feel? What is it that you want? And what is the outcome? Thank you.
<laughs> well, uh, okay. So you're feeling that your person's a jerk. Okay, they're a good for nothing. You know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you possibly have some choice words on this person. But, you know, this could be your energy towards them. Take your pick. Whatever the case is, okay, you feel like you don't have the time of day or this person doesn't have the time of day to entertain you, okay? That's how you're feeling, you know? Um, I have a feeling that maybe uh, you just don't know how you would have an opportunity to keep an open mind about the situation, especially if they come off as a jerk towards you. You're not happy, okay? You're not happy because this person turned you down. Okay, acting like, you know, they don't have the time of day. You know, I have a feeling that your person is a father figure or um, they could be in a relationship. And so that's why they're as, uh, acting very distorted like, okay, like, like you don't exist is what I'm seeing. And they're trying to get out of your head or actually this is you. You're trying to get out of feeling stressed uh, that you're not happy in a relationship with this asshole over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> could be an earth sign. Okay, take your pick, whatever. It's all because you're cut off, okay? Uh, you possibly got ghosted. There was no communication. Maybe you never got the answers that, that you deserve. Okay, you want answers and you never got it. That's how I see this. And um, I have a feeling that you're single. You're working on yourself, your sovereignty. Uh, if you have a business, you've been working on your business. And things aren't really doing so well, okay? Uh, things are stagnant. You know, I have a feeling that your creativity is in a vibrational match with this uh, person over here. I feel like uh, your person is your muse, okay? And um, you have a hard time of, you know, keeping things light, keeping things positive. The energy is, is actually very negative on your side. You feel like things can't really grow with this person for whatever reason. You definitely want to celebrate with them, maybe even for the holidays, but you just don't know how. So uh, either uh, there's options here on the table, but what I'm sensing is that you just don't know. You know, how could you come across this person if this person had ghosted you, cut you out, stopped talking to you? You know, they came off as, you know, someone who doesn't have time for you. How could you come to someone if you already tried, right? You're out of, you're out of options. That's what it feels like. And you're really trying to tame yourself, okay? Um, to me, this is like patience, really trying to say everything is going to work out and everything will be okay. For some, you could be dealing with a Leo, okay? And maybe uh, an Aquarius. You're starting to lose hope. You know, for others, it's an Aries because this person has been manipulative towards you and they've been cold, very distant. You just don't see how this is happening. This is like a lot of negative energy. You're just like, you know what? I exhausted all means to connect to this person. This person pushed you away. They treated you a certain way. They acted like they didn't have time for you. Um, possibly, you know, cut you out, ghosted you, and um, made you look like you were uh, unappreciated and um, just not worth their time, right? here you are you're so forgiving you have a pentacle that you want to offer to this person you want to send a message to this person so even regardless of all the situation i have a feeling scorpio that you've forgiven them you understand what forgiveness means okay this person possibly never asked for your forgiveness but you forgave them anyways that makes you the bigger person they still want to offer you or you still want to offer a situation to your person over here and you just don't know if it's going to be received you know you're the type of person who actually goes above and beyond it's self-sacrificing right always sacrificing yourself uh to make other people's happy right that's what I'm feeling. And this person acts like, you know, um, thanks, but no thanks. They don't even appreciate you in the right way. And you've been thinking about this, okay? You're really hurt because maybe there was a third party that got in the way between you and this person. You really want to communicate to them uh, your thoughts. Uh, for some, you've, you've actually recently dreamt about this person. Okay, you've been dreaming about communicating the truth, but there's always like a third party that makes it difficult. Maybe you had a dream about the third party situation 
And look at this. We have here six of pentacles. Wow. You're dreaming of this person to offer you balance. That's all you ever wanted. And look, your person in their thoughts, they know that they, they never gave it to you. You feel like too much time has passed and you want to do what makes you happy. You love them very deeply. I feel like you've expressed this before and you're trying to, you know, heal from your past and not be so blocked off and guarded because you always held back secrets about how you felt always keeping things to yourself maybe you came off um a certain way you know not really expressing your true emotions toward this person and it wasn't because it was a dirty little secret it was because you feel like your person never really understood how you truly felt or you know could they actually step into your your shoes and really see you know from their eyes how they felt how you felt towards them. So you're watching them and you want a new beginning. You still haven't given up. You're trusting that you will have this new beginning and it's been very difficult because they've been a rude ass, okay? They've been really cold towards you, you know, saying thanks, no thanks, right? I feel like it's because this person is in a commitment. That's why, okay? Let's see what else. Man, just when I said something, you know, look, okay, so we have two of wands in reverse with the four of wands in reverse and the six of uh, cups. So you're thinking, okay, you made a decision that there has to be a divorce, okay, and you keep thinking of the past. So you keep thinking the past, maybe your person ended the situation with you. They chose to end it with you. You had thoughts that you guys would actually be in a situation. Um, and that's what I'm getting. Now for others, okay, I feel that you're in a relationship with somebody and you need to get a divorce. Take your pick, okay? I see that they need to actually get out of a situation. They can't follow their dreams because of a, a situation dealing with the marriage. You know, but that could be uh, their thoughts on you. So Scorpio, if you're the one who's married, okay, you need to see uh, about getting that attorney. Okay, <laughs> getting that divorce. <laughs> I'm just saying. For some people, divorce might be easy because you don't have any assets. But if, if you have assets, then obviously it's going to be a, a, a difficult journey for you. But I have a feeling regardless of the situation of this is your energy or your other person's energy or it could be the both of you's energy Okay, take your pick You still think of them and You're feeling that this person is your destiny your destined partner This is the new chapter that you've been looking for However, you feel like you can't really have this new beginning, but you want to get out of the separation with this uh, individual over here You've been thinking about them a lot so I'm going to take the rest into the extended and in the extended, I'm going to go over uh, energies of your person, uh, of what they're going to do towards you and what your energies are towards your person and both of you guys' energies towards each other. Also messages that your person like to say and a guidance message from spirit. So it'll help you to navigate through uh, these current energies that I'm channeling here today. So if you uh, feel the need to uh, watch the extended, then the description is, um, I mean, the link is in the description box below. Also, if you are a member, you can navigate to the membership section to watch the extended. And uh, if you're not a member, you can consider by joining this channel. Basically, the join button is underneath this video. And uh, the membership is $9.99 uh, USD. Okay, and uh, basically that's for all the extended readings for one month. You can cancel at any time. There, there's no uh, uh, perk or, or thing where you have to be locked in. You can cancel, okay? So if it, if it isn't for you, um, you can just cancel a membership, uh, but you can try it out and see if it's going to be beneficial for you. 
Okay, especially if you've uh, purchased more than one extended reading from me. Okay, also for the ones um, who do join, I'll come on in a private live uh, once a month to uh, answer one burning question that you have for me. And um, also you get uh, discounts on personal readings and, um, and on products. And guys, you know, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Uh, between now and the uh, December 5th, all of the personal readings are on sale. So if you're interested in booking a private reading, you can do so at this time. Also, um, let's see what else. There was something else I want to say. Oh, yeah. Um, I do have some products on my website. If you guys are interested in all of my personal products, okay, go ahead and take a look. It's um, Everything is marked down on sale. Okay, if you go on to my Etsy store and look for Scorpio Moon Intuition, I believe it's 20% uh, off on my Etsy shop as opposed to my store. My store is only 10% off, guys. <laughs> but if you have coupons, if you're a member, you get a, an additional um, uh, discount for just being a member. Okay, also you get $10 off on my moon boxes. Okay, and uh, if you purchase your moon box today, you could possibly get it by the full moon that's coming this week. And uh, doing the, the full moon rituals is to help clear your auric energy uh, so that you're feeling uh, vitalized and fresh so that there's no negative energies around you. Okay, and it, it will help you to uh, clear yourself of negative toxic vibrations. Okay, and you should do this at least twice a month, guys. Okay, so that's what the moon box is for. And once you buy the box, um, you have everything that you need in it for months to come. Okay, with the accession of some sprays and uh, some bath salts that are in the box, um, you might have to renew or... Um, you know get uh, more product over the coming months but um, it should be uh, enough for the full year okay or uh, maybe up to a month on certain items in the box so I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the other side thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye